Can someone give me like a, if you know it, like a one sentence, nice, simple, easy definition for what depreciation is? Yeah, Sophie, what do you reckon? When you buy something and you keep it for a long time, yep. it goes okay. down in price. Very good. Okay, so if oh. something, um, I'm going to give it a name, by the way. Um, I'm going to call it an asset. That's something which you buy, which has value. Okay, maybe that was a... <laughs> <laughs> How old are you people? Okay, so you've got an asset, right? Something you bought with value that gets older, right? Right? Um, such as a car or a computer. We'll talk about both of these again in a second. It sometimes will lose value, right? Right? Uh, sometimes when something is new, it's more valuable. And as you get older and older and older, it's like, yeah, you know what? This is not as good anymore. Not everything does this, by the way. Um, lots of things appreciate in value rather than depreciate in value. Can someone give me an example? Like yeah. Houses. houses, real estate generally appreciates, yes? Wine. Wine generally appreciates, right? Yeah, very old wine is very expensive, yeah. Coins, okay, so currency, things like that. Emily? Wow. <laughs> things from my childhood. Well, they might appreciate for you. They might not appreciate not for the entire house. What? what? One more second. Like okay, so if you've got some um, some mint, like un untouched sort of comics books, other kind of collector's Shoot, items, it's all appreciated. Okay. Shoot. However, I'm sorry to interrupt your walk down the starter lane. However, most things or a lot of things do not. Right? As they get older, they get less and less value until some point where it's like, well, you know what? This you might as well just throw it out. It's not it's not worth anything. Okay? We talked about some examples. Cars and computers are probably the easiest like common example we're talking about. And cars, of course, is why it comes up in this topic, okay, because we're looking at mathematics and driving. Now, I want to ask the question, right? And as I said, ages, it loses value, we call that depreciation. We're going to look at how do you work out what its value is. But my question to you guys is, why does anyone care? Like, yes, it does do that, but why would we actually want to know what the number is? I can think of at least two big reasons. Anyone want to throw one at me? Yeah, hold on. Find out how much money you lose. Okay, so that, because I love feeling depressed about how much my things are dropping in value, I, I know, at least. But then that then asks, begs the next question. Well, why is it useful to me to know that exact fact that Holly's mentioned? Yeah, what are you Because when you're buying it, you can make like a right Okay, very good. So the first thing that we could probably mention is, do you remember um, uh, when I introduced this topic, I showed you this. So I bought these cars and I told you I bought two of them used and two of them new, right? Now, in order to work out, okay, these prices that I paid, these were the prices I paid, by the way, uh, give or take. Are these prices reasonable or not? Well, the way you know is I can say, okay, well, if this is a 1994 Toyota Corolla hatch, and it's been, you know, kept in a garage and all that kind of thing, but it's very old. Is that a suitable amount to pay for it? Or am I getting ripped off, right? Um, or is this an amazing deal, which, by the way, should make you suspicious. If anything that's being sold to you, like a used object, is an amazing deal, you should be really suspicious. Um, <laughs> this Honda Civic, is that, is seven and a half grand? Like, is that about the right amount? Uh, and for these objects here, which are brand new, how much will I get back if I end up selling these things like say next year or something like that, okay? That's a 2012, that's a, well that's a 2016. You know, after one year, how much is it gonna be worth? How much am I likely to get back if say I need to upgrade into like a bigger car because my kids are getting larger and more space in the back or whatever it is, okay? So the first thing is like, why do I wanna know? Like it's a bit morbid, isn't it? Like, hooray, I'm losing money every day. No, no, no. Ooh. It's a very practical purpose because you might want to purchase something that someone else has and you want to know how much value it's lost, okay? So we should actually write that down. Um, reason number one. Reason number one for why you need to know what depreciation is and should be able to calculate it is um, you want to be able to have an accurate estimate of value If you're purchasing, if you're buying something that has depreciated, right? You want to not get ripped off, basically. Okay. Now, there is a second other big reason, which um, is not immediate to you, but honestly, it's um, 
it's a big reason for um, you when you start earning an income and that kind of thing. Do you remember all the way back in FM1, we talked about earnings and we talked about deductions. Do you remember what deductions are? What, what is a deduction? Anyway, yeah. Tax, like what you take off so you get the amount of the Okay, so this is interesting. Maybe you want to just jot this down on the side, right? Um, there are these three things that relate to each other. Um, income, deductions, and tax. Now, we haven't really dealt with tax in detail. We're going to do that in the HSC course. So don't feel like, oh, ooh, okay, this is a big idea. I haven't dealt with this yet. That's okay. The point is, in our country, right, there is such a thing as income tax. I should point out, there are some rare countries in the world where there is no income tax, okay? But the more money you earn, the more money that the government will take off you so that they can spend it on roads, schools, hospitals, all that, okay? However, if off your income, you're actually spending a lot of that on things which you have no choice about, right? So for example, I have to pay this membership to the Board of Studies that's uh, like $110 a year or something like that. To, um, to make sure that I stay registered. You know how we talk about registration of cars? Well, teachers have to be registered as well. I have to pay that. I don't have a choice. Otherwise, it's illegal for me to teach. So being that I have no choice, my income is not really whatever number of thousands of dollars I earn. It's actually that, and some amount is being deducted out. Okay? So therefore, I pay less tax. Because they're like, yeah, that income on your salary, your pay slip, is not really your income. Okay? Now, Depreciation is a really important part of this, okay? Reason number two is so that we can say depreciation can be counted, I'll give you the sentence and then I'll explain it, can be counted as an expense to reduce taxable income. Okay? So as an example, right? If I am a traveling salesman, okay, so the fact that I buy a car is not just because I want to get from A to B, but I've got to have that car to do my job, right? So that's kind of like a deduction, right? But the thing is, like, okay, suppose um, I earn, let's just give an example. Suppose I earn $50,000 a year, okay? I could quite easily buy a car that costs $50,000, right? So does that mean, oh, for that year, your income was $50,000? and we're just gonna deduct $50,000 from you, so you pay no tax. Do you think the government will let you do that? No, no, no they will not, because the system will be a shambles, it's very difficult, uh, it'd be inconsistent to collect tax off people. So what they say is, okay, you know what? That, um, the value you're actually losing, right, is the amount that you're each year losing off of the car. So imagine this scenario. If I bought that $50,000 car, and then I just sold it the next year, I'm gonna get all this money back and then I've paid no tax. So they say, if for example, you buy a car and it's $50,000. <coughs> Just as a, um, a rough guess, what do you guys think a $50,000 car would be worth 12 months later after you bought it? Just a guess, what do you reckon? 40, About 40,000? Yeah, I think you're gonna be, depending on how you've used it, depending on how, much, how many kilometers you've gone there, let's, let's just call it conservatively 35 here, okay? So it's lost, okay, yeah? So it's lost $15,000 of value, okay? Now that $15,000, that's a real expense, right? You can't ever get that money back. It's gone, right? It's, it's disappeared off into the car, okay? So therefore, that expense, that smaller amount, that can reduce your taxable income. Okay, now, in reality, there's a few more complicated equations in there, but the point is, I need to know what the depreciation is. Not just so that I don't get ripped off when I'm buying something, but for my tax, or if you're running a business, right, you're gonna buy all kinds of things, not just cars, and you pay a lot of money um, to the government in tax, you wanna reduce that, 